morning guys welcome to my channel as you just saw things are a mess here we have not gotten any further in decorating since the last vlog but we have good reason for that and that is because we're quarantining for Christmas yes that's right in hopes of being able to see our families for Christmas safely we're doing a full two-week quarantine and honestly I don't think it will be that hard for us because we stay home a lot but that means that like all of the preparation for Christmas the gift buying the groceries all of that has to be done beforehand so this is the last day before our quarantine and the gifts are bought most of the groceries are well some of the groceries are bought I'm gonna make one run to Costco. That is my final grocery stop. And then we're staying home. So I'm all decked out for my last trip out. There's decorations and mess everywhere that we still need to put up, but I figure I'm gonna have lots of time to do that when I'm at home for two weeks. Man, why is it so dark in here? Like, is anyone else dealing with this? It's not the nighttime, it's the morning and it's so dark in our house we have like all the lights on the good news that comes with that is that then you can turn your christmas tree on and it looks bright all day so spencer and i sat down last night we made a list the last grocery list ever <laughs> so dramatic we made a list we checked it twice or something like that and you know we have the important things on it like eggnog also, toilet paper. I know, it's so typical that we need toilet paper. I think we could probably make it, but we are actually running low. So, I'm gonna keep an eye out for that. If not, we'll just use the dried up baby wipes that I got for free like seven years ago. It'll be great. But yeah, this is definitely an exhaustive list. We just kind of wanted to have everything that we could possibly need or want, I guess, I don't know. We're spoiling ourselves for Christmas because if we're going to be home, then we want to feel like an abundance. I don't know. Does that make sense? I feel like that doesn't make any sense. And don't worry, I checked all the cookie recipes to make sure we have all the correct ingredients for the Christmas cookies. <laughs> I have moved my paper list, what's left of it, to my phone, so I've got that. I probably won't film very much in here just because I want to be safe and be focused on avoiding people. But yeah, I might try to give some tips on how to shop safely during the pandemic. See what I can do. Okay, what's gonna next? Oh, let's go. Okay, I don't know what this is, but it looks really magical. Also this. Ooh. Oh, look at those pictures. Okay, one thing that I have learned from being an experienced Costco shopper, that if there is an aisle that looks super busy like this, You don't need to go there. You can wait. You don't need to go in that aisle. Just wait like a minute, go to another aisle that's empty, and then come back and there will be absolutely no one in that aisle. This also applies to the sample tables. If there's like a million people around the sample table, just come back in two minutes, there'll be no one. But that doesn't really apply during the pandemic, obviously. I just saw toilet paper in someone else's cart. And I don't want to be that crazy person, but uh, I think we should go get them. Okay, tip number two. This one might seem a little crazy, I know, but hey, what can I say? Safety first. So sometimes when I'm out shopping, I try to designate one clean hand and one dirty hand, or, you know, hand for picking up stuff. And that's so that I can hold my phone in my clean hand so I can look at my grocery list or check things online that I need to check to know what to buy. And then, you know, your clean hand, you can use 
in dire need and you need to like scratch your head or something. I mean, I still try not to, but at least you kind of have one safe hand then. So that's my tip. I know it sounds crazy. Is this totally necessary and does it work? I don't know, but it's an easy thing to do and it's nice to have a safe hand. Okay, the last safety tip for social distancing when grocery shopping is kind of similar to the first one. It kind of goes along with it and that is to shop slowly. And I don't mean like spend two hours in the grocery store. No, no. But so often I see so many people who I think are like very panicked. They seem very panicked and they just go for whatever they want without really paying attention to the people around them and they're getting very close to people. And my strategy is to shop a little bit slowly. There's nothing that you need to grab right in that moment. You can take a second to wait, things will clear up, and you will be able to grab your item without getting too close to people. So those are my safety tips. I don't know, maybe these are obvious, but that's what I do when I'm out shopping. And yes, I'm filming in the alcohol section because there's no one here. Also, this Prosecco is delicious. It's only $6.99 and I will definitely be having some once I'm no longer pregnant. Pretty cardigan on sale. Hmm, I know I'm wearing something that's almost exactly like this, but uh, for $4.97, yeah, we're doing it. Oh, I just bought this last week for $4.99. It's pretty good, by the way. Ah, okay, mission accomplished. Ah, <laughs> that meme that's like, taking off your mask is the new ripping off your bra when you get home. <laughs> Very true. Okay, I think we've got it all. Uh, I wasn't too crazy in there. <laughs> I did have a funny thing happen. When I got to my car, there was this guy waiting to pull into a spot next to me. So I moved out my car out of, out of the way so that he could pull in. And then he got out and he was like, oh, here, let me help you. And I was like, no, no, it's fine. So I didn't really want him touching all of my groceries, but um, he was like, no, no, I can help. <laughs> so he, he helped me load all of my groceries in. I think he just like, was in the Christmas spirit and like had very good intentions. So I was like, it's good, it's fine. It was very, very nice of him. And that is also the first time that anyone has ever offered to help me since I've been pregnant. Mm -hmm. So that was really nice, even though I don't think he offered to help because I'm pregnant, because I don't think he could tell. But anyways, phew, shopping is done. Okay guys, the bow is on. We are going on our final outing before our quarantine. Are you excited today? Okay, we are at Carpenito Brothers. We're here. We're going to see the reindeer, which we see them every year. And this year they have a camel, a new camel, and a zebra. A zebra. Let's and, go. Yeah, okay. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, 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 oh. They was just asking me if I like the fully flocked or partly flocked. And I don't know, I feel like if you're gonna go flocked, full? Maybe a little less than this. What do you think? Yeah. We are here. Check it out, you guys. A little baby camel. And a zebra. They're best friends. Aww. Last year I What's it?
Ruby smiling for the video. Oh, I thought he was leaving. <laughs> we just learned a fun fact, you guys. Yeah. All of Santa's reindeer are female because males, what? Lose their antlers in November. Oh my gosh, how cool. I assumed that they were boys. Look at these girls. These are giant Christmas trees. Also, look at how magical it is over here. Yay! Okay, we got one more place to go. We've never seen this one before. Spencer just tricked me. Although, should you really have mistletoe at a public venue? Seems risky. Gotta know about that. I mean, it was fine. It wasn't quite as nice kissing through masks, but you know, it's cool. Oh. Bye. He came over to say hi to us for a second. 